Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with episode number 25 of the Tottenham Career Mode and this is the season finale. The last two games in the Premier League in this one, we need all six points if we're going to get into the Champions League. As you can see, we're one point behind Arsenal and three points behind Chelsea, although Chelsea do have a game in hand. So we need maximum points if we're going to get Champo League next season. It is absolutely vital that we do so. And we're coming up against West Ham in this one, away from home in the rain. So it's going to be difficult and West Ham in real life obviously beat West uh, beat Tottenham at White Hart Lane 3-0 recently so I was fully aware of the threats that they posed I wasn't going to uh, to make the same mistakes that AVB did in real life and I was going to make sure that our dominance shone through in this one and we really were dominant in the opening stages having chance after chance Gilfie Sigerson's going to whip the ball in here the uh, the ball's eventually going to fall to Chiu sets up Andros Townsend has the strike and it's deflected goes out for another corner unfortunately nothing though did come of that one and we're waiting just past the half hour mark before we got the next decent chance Jackson Martinez is going to come the close as we've got so far striking the outside of the post beating James Collins with a lovely uh, lovely turn onto his weaker foot which maybe was uh, the reason it wasn't quite as accurate as it could have been and it hit the post and went out for a goal kick but uh, Gilfie Sigerson with another free kick I'm finding free kicks particularly hard to score this year Gilfie is obviously one of the best free kick takers in the Premier League and I just haven't been able to pop them into the back of the net with him and uh, that was another example of that though so we go in at half time at 0-0 and you'll be able to see from the stats that are going to pop up and screen in just a second that not only were West Ham not able to have a shot they were barely able to get out of their own half we, uh, we had all of the play, all of the ball, all of the chances, and I needed more of the same second half. We need that breakthrough. We came extremely close to Andrews Townsend here. Cuts inside onto his left foot really, really nicely. Strikes the ball perfectly, but it's straight at the goalkeeper and not, crucially, up into one of the corners to get ourselves a goal. But Chadley breaking down the left-hand side this time. I was trying to cut into inside onto his favoured right foot, and he gets muscled out. Goes out for a corner. Gilfie whips the ball in. His corners are much better for me than his free kicks. Pops the ball right on Jackson Martinez's head. And we make the crucial breakthrough. We are 1-0 up in the 65th minute. And I'm going to defend for my life for the rest of this game. You see Martinez rises much higher than any of the other defenders. In fact, they don't even make an attempt to rise to win the ball. And that is how the game finished. I literally spent the last 25 minutes of that game just keeping the ball, playing it about, keeping possession, making sure that we didn't get caught on the counter-attack. And as you can see, we've had a message from the board. On behalf of the board, I want to acknowledge all the positive changes and the dedication we've seen you bring to the club. We know you've had a lot of pressure and speculation from the press. We want to reassure you that we feel there is no one better to carry forward the Spurs legacy. Of course, previously we had had a bit of a disconcerting message from the board saying they wanted changes to uh, to the performances that we make and maybe to uh, to the squad being used because of the uh, the poor results we've been seeing but they seem to have uh, you know given me a vote of confidence they've re reiterated their confidence and their faith in me as a manager and we go into the final day with a situation like this we are one point behind Arsenal they're the only team we can catch it's the old rivalry it is Arsenal and Spurs battling it out for fourth position and that final Champions League spot as we head into the last day now Arsenal are travelling away to Norwich at at, uh, at Carrow Road and of course Norwich are nine, no, 18th in the league and they need a win if they win and the teams above them lose Norwich will stay up Arsenal will obviously need a win to ensure they finish 4th I need to just get exactly what I can from this, uh, from this game I just want goals and I want uh, 3 points and that is definitely what we were going to get. You see here, opening five minutes, we had the earlier chance with Vertonghen with a header from the corner. Lovely ball from Lamella onto Nani. The first touch is perfect. The second touch is perfect. The shot is even better. And uh, we go 1-0 up inside six minutes. And, of course, you expect that sort of flamboyant celebration from Nani when he does score a goal. So uh, that is exactly what we got. And Lamella is going to be involved again, setting up Paulinho. Saldado is going to make the break behind one defender. Gets past the second defender. The ball drops down on his chest. Wonderful finish. 2-0 inside 16 minutes. Absolutely superb start to this one. That is his 27th goal in all competitions so far this season. He's been vital to us and our positioning in the league. And he's going to race away. He's going to make it three in the 21st minute. Another thumping finish past the goalkeeper. Brad Guzan, absolutely no chance. And we're 3-0 up inside 20 minutes. We couldn't have asked for a better start. We just had to hope that things above us acted out the way we wanted them to but there was going to be a spanner thrown in the works Aston Villa are going to pick up a penalty here you'll be able to see from the replay it's handball but I think it was handball because of the challenge from behind Eunice Gabor. I think he's been pushed in the back which has made his arm go up towards the ball which uh, it is handball but it's a questionable handball but Kozak steps up to take the pen rifles off the bar they get to the rebound and Hugo Lloris makes a 
wonderful save. The reaction is to get back up off his feet, get back across to the ball, and it keeps us 3-0 up as we head towards half-time. We're going to have another chance here. I am with the ball onto Soldado's right foot. But for some reason, he still decided to take it with his left, finesse it, and uh, was looking for that hat-trick, isn't going to get it. But we are going to get another chance just before half-time into stop his time. Ericsson's going to play down Nani on the right, on the left-hand side. Rather, He's going to cut inside onto his right foot, goes for a finesse, and it is just absolutely woeful. Never, ever going to trouble the goalkeeper with that. But we go in at half-time, 3-0 up. Soldado twice, Nani once, and you'll be able to see now the situation at half time Arsenal are drawing away at Norwich if things stay as they are we're going to qualify for the Champions League it's so so close Arsenal bums are quivering my arse was definitely a little bit leaky and a little bit squeaky as we headed into squeaky bum time in the second half and a soldado what a strike to pick up his hat trick in the 63rd minute 29th goal in all competitions this season you just cannot underestimate his importance to this team to this squad to this club he's just absolutely superb and he's going to pick up a fourth here Brad Goose an absolutely horrific mistake plays the ball straight to Soldado 84 minutes in gets 30 goals all round for the uh, for the season in the final game and we are going to pick up a 5-0 victory with Soldado picking up four of them absolutely insane so the one question remains how did Arsenal get on in their game? Now you'll see we're actually going to receive tournament money. 9.9 .9 million is going to be added to the transfer budget. But what is that for? Is that for a fourth place finish? Or is that for a fifth place finish? You've probably already seen it. Arsenal 2, Norwich 2. We are in the Champions League for next season. Absolutely superb result for us. And we are going to be uh, competing at the highest level in European football next season. I could not be more excited to get cracking with the Champions League next year. But before that happens, we've got some international offers to, uh, to palm away. Australia, we've had an offer from France. It's three weeks before the World Cup. What do I do? Do I take the France international job? Do we take a club into the... Rio 2014 World Cup you're damn right we do we accept the offer from France we're going to be taking a international job offer and playing in the Rio Brazil World Cup for 2014 so the next few videos are going to be a kind of mini series from the World Cup and uh, they will be uh, I'm hoping uh, I'm going to do the group stage in one video and then maybe do a live con for each of the knockout rounds should we get through but as you can see the groups are in the background here England have Wales Korea and Colombia uh, Wales qualifying for a World Cup. What is that all about? Argentina, Turkey, Sweden, New Zealand. You'd expect Argentina and Sweden to go through there. Italy and Denmark would be the two you'd expect to go through from Group E. Germany and Mexico, perhaps. Although Bulgaria and South Africa are decent sides and could give Mexico a run for their money. And then Spain and the Ivory Coast are the two from that one you'd expect to go through. Slovenia and Australia aren't really going to offer too much of a battle. Brazil, Czech Republic, Scotland and Cameroon. Scotland and Wales both qualifying for a World Cup. What is life? FIFA definitely definitely is not realistic is it sorry any Scots and Welsh people out there I do have to apologize but uh, I am very much English and proud not British but anyway let's put any of that to the side shall we and let's wrap up this episode we've qualified for the Champions League for next season with French managers going into the World Cup the next video tomorrow no the next this is going to go up oh yeah this is going to go up on Monday the next video tomorrow Tuesday will be the group stage of the World Cup with France in Rio de Janeiro so please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind let me know in the comment section down below what you think of uh, our chances in the World Cup with France if you aren't subscribed to the channel there will be a link to do so in the description and an annotation on screen over the subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode there will be a link to that over the annotation on screen over the play button but that is going to wrap this video up guys so thank you very much for all of the support and i will see you tomorrow in rio